up just to the height that is comfortable for you. Exhale and release. Lovely. Now towards us. My name is Rachel Bird. I'm 92 years old. Good. I broke both nice hips slowly. in one year. And they said I'm not fit to be out. And come back up for uh, My one. name is Kim Vilmer. I work for Active Lives here in Ipswich and one of my roles is as a falls prevention exercise instructor. So I'm getting all my exercise walking up and down with the walker on the corridor at home in my flat. I, I feel much more confident. This is easier if you're on the front of your chair, so if you've migrated back, you can do the lovely good. We'll just do when you're the side. so old so and so bad, uh, it's to in improve in three months like that, I think it's pretty good. I'm very pleased with it and I keep intending to, to come if I... Hello, my name's Anna. I'm a community physiotherapist and I've been working with Rachel following a fall that she had which greatly reduced her confidence and her mobility and really affected her balance. Really important that anybody that has a fall, they seek advice from their GP if they've had any further falls or trips. You take your medications as prescribed, you eat a healthy diet and you carry out your exercises regularly. I'm, I'm Judy Brush, I'm one of the consultants at Ipswich Hospital. I run the Falls Clinic and I also uh, see everybody who's admitted with a hip fracture to our hospital. Rachel has improved considerably after uh, her operations and um, is now undertaking some regular exercise which has improved her strength and balance and that will help reduce her risk of falling again. I'm trying my hardest to remain mobile and remain healthy. I don't want to fall. I don't want to go into hospital again. I haven't even tripped once uh, since I came home from hospital with my second broken hip. And every month we learn something different. And this time we learned about balance. And she came and that so at last, I had somebody, you know, who would teach me fun. The, the earlier you can get it after a break, the better. It's really important that you tell your doctor if you've had a fall. Uh, we can often reduce the risk of further falls. And a healthy, balanced diet, including plenty of calcium and vitamin D, will help reduce the risk of falling. It's important that you take your medication as prescribed. If you're having problems with your tablets or you're not sure if you should be taking them, it's important that they're reviewed regularly by your doctor. Regular strength and balance exercise helps reduce the risk of falls and fractures. But it does help. It really helps. And also, I try to do some of the things which I find very difficult. I take medication. I have a good diet which I insist on, really everything I do and the exercises are to remain as mobile as I can, as healthy as I can, 